What's up, Scorpio? This is Soul. And uh, Scorpio, we're going to look at your week ahead starting March 25th, uh, 2024. Scorpio, I hope all is well. Let's get into um, some energies here. I'm using the Ether Tarot this week, uh, Scorpio. And um, just to let you guys know, I have selected a winner uh, for this week's uh, video giveaway um, from Libra. And um, I've already done Libra's video. Congratulated that winner. And we're just going to cleanse the energy here from Dawn's uh, Libra's video so we can do your messages. Adding to your spread, um, a deck I used uh, a couple of years ago. I'm coming back to it. It's called the Rebel Deck. And it's just very, you know, straightforward messages. And you can use those messages however you want. All right. So also to continue to throw those comments in, Le uh, Scorpio, I'm sorry. Um, too late to do a giveaway for Easter, but I am already planning... Um, putting together a good goodie package for Mother's Day. So throw those comments in here. And I might, you know, you know, decide later on to change the way I select winners. Um, but for right now, this seems to be uh, working for me. Okay, so energies for Scorpio. What can Scorpio expect? By the way, I'm not reading any uh, reversals. Energies for Scorpio. Okay, here we go, Scorpio. We're going to begin with um, the Eight of Pentacles. Money looking good already, right? So, you know, lately uh, with the recent videos that I have been posting already, I talk about the uh, Eight of Pentacles or any Pentacles that show up that it could be, you know, we're in tax season so that some of you may have filed taxes and may be expecting some sort of return. Well, it could be part of the Eight of Pentacles here. For others, it could be a pay raise, a moderate pay raise, paying attention to the details of your work, uh, balanced energy. So it could be, you know, that your finances are stable or something else that's going on here. All right. So that is the Eight of Pentacles. Following the Eight of Pentacles, we have the um, Emperor. So you will be in control this week, Scorpio. I always talk about the Emperor um, maintaining an aspect of control of self and not trying to, um, you know, be in control of others' situations or, you know, being manipulative. That energy would fall under the reversal of the emperor, but it's in the upright. So some of you may be dealing with um, courts, legal system, could be visiting courthouses, having to do with judges, lawyers, or whatnot. Um, it's favorable. It's in your favor, if that is the case. Some of you may be working in that uh, discipline, right? The character usually I always say it could be, you know, um, father figure. It could be a mother figure that's on the other side now. They may have had some sort of dealings with the justice system. Could have been, you know, lawyers, judges, uh, police officers, served some sort of time in the military. They're just coming through to uh, acknowledge you. <coughs> they um, also... Um, may have been, you know, uh, very authoritative, bossy. And this is boss mode. Following the money uh, card here could be that some of you are promoted to higher paying positions. Someone uh, asking you to lead, to look over others. Following the major arcana of the emperor, we have the page of pentacles. So again, contract offers, uh, job offers, starting a new job, starting a new business or a birth of a, a business. Okay, that is the Page of Pentacles. Next up, we have the Three of Wands. You're moving towards something positive or it's moving towards you. Always associate the Three of Wands with long-distance romance, love affairs. If you are traveling, whether it's vacationing or work-related matters, you're safe to and from. This energy here is the movement of something that may have been slow or stagnant for you in the recent past. Now, that could have been a relationship. Um, could have been, you know, it follows the Page of Pentacles that the job... Someone may have started a recent job and it wasn't going the way that you thought. Now the energy is starting to pick up. Maybe, the, you know, you're getting the swing of things or the hang of things and you're starting to like it. Pro other projects may be moving forward. And also, too, it could be involving um, relationships that may have experienced some sort of uh, slowness or a stagnant energy. Following the Three of Wands, now we have the King of Pentacles. Again, the money is strong. King of Pentacles, look at that. You got... Uh, the, King of Pentacles mirrors the Page of Pentacles, which then mirrors the Eight of Pentacles. So money is really looking great for some of my Scorpios out there this week. This is, a, of course, a promotion, uh, pay raise, bonus money. This is your boss in the workplace environment. This is for business 
Scorpios who are running business or thinking about running business, money and resources becoming available. This is creditors. All you have to do is apply for credit, ask the boss, it's in favor of you, right? When it comes to romance, though, however, this is somebody who uh, could come along who is either an entrepreneur running their own business, doing something very, well, lucrative in the line of work or career that they have cho uh, chosen. I always say they have pocket change. Um, never coming across as selfish or stingy, always willing to share any accumulations of energies along the way with other people because that's how they are. If it's the attributes of this card alone, then, you know, others may see you as, you know, always being there for them, Scorpio. It doesn't always have to involve, um, you know, uh, money. It could be that you're just there lending support. Um, they see you as someone who is reliable and dependable um, and so forth. This person, too, also, it could be you is good with handling money. Following the King of Pentacles, now we have the Four of Pentacles. All about that money. Four of Pentacles, in this case, is holding on uh, tight to something that needs to be loosened up. It doesn't necessarily have to be involving money, but you could be saving up for something greater. Also, it's still, uh, you know, a uh, small pay raise coming in for someone. Um, if it is holding on tight to, you know, secure to something, I always talk about love and affection towards someone or that energy is being um, withheld from you. So something needs to be let up a little bit. Okay, eased off. Only no, yeah, only you know what that is. Following that, we have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is always that energy of worry, concerns, anxiety. Uh, but oftentimes I talk about this here to, um, to, you know, to my you know fans, subscribers or whatever, just to be careful with the uh, Eight of Swords here because it has a tendency uh, to be very, very tricky, you know, because we oftentimes get into, um, or I should say, how many times have you gotten yourself involved, including me, and in thinking about scenarios that you're, you know, playing out in your mind that have yet to occur, Nine times out of ten, whatever it is that you're conjuring up in your mind, usually it's the worst thing that could you know possibly happen and never turns out that way, right? So be careful. This Eight of Swords, if it does express itself, of course, I always tell you guys to deal with it. You don't want it to linger around and, you know, because it leads into the Nine of Swords energy, which is much worse. I also get a break in communication with the Eight of Swords. So that could be with family members, friends, or romantic partners. So whatever this is, um, if you're dealing with it and it's real, deal with it to try to eliminate it as fast as you possibly can and as much as you possibly can. Or if it's not, then don't do that mental damage to yourself for things that are yet to be, um, you know, seen, heard, or, you know, come to, you know, fruition. Following the Eight of Swords here, now we have the Three of Cups. So there is a celebration here. It could be involving someone's um, birthday, anniversary. Of course, we're in Easter week. So happy Easter. If I forgot to mention happy Easter to all Scorpios. Um, it could be just spending that quality time, again, with your family during Easter. Um, something to be happy, yeah, happy and joyous about. Um, not only quality time with family members, but it could be, you know... Um, significant others it could be um, friends right hanging out with uh, co-workers is underneath the page of pentacles but somebody could also be happy about getting that job offer or that contract to offer and there's some, a need to celebrate following the three of cups here now we have the will of fortune so you got the stroke of luck fate and destiny on your side this is one of the big money cards so again if you're the risk-taking uh scorpio you know if you do the lottery and play the casino, or do the casino runs, or play the lottery, I should say. Just play responsibly. Stroke of luck. Being somewhere uh, and where something auspicious may occur or happen for you. Um, what else can I say about that? Wheel of Fortune. Something that may have been unfortunate for you uh, in the recent past. Now the Wheel of Fortune may change that in, in your favor. Okay? Last card I have for you, Scorpio, is the Two of Pentacles. Juggling two things. It could be, you know... Two jobs, it could be, you know, two contracts, it could be um, two relationships, right? Trying to balance out your um, your checkbook, something as simple as that. It's just a minor imbalance. That I feel that you shouldn't have any problems in figuring out what's going on here, juggling two things. 
All right, so this is what I have for you for the general. Let's see what the uh, Rebel deck wants to add to your spread, Scorpio. And remember, I said that these cards are very direct in terms of their messages. All right, so the first one we have is uh, ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional, Scorpio. Next one up is uh, get the fuck outside. Move your ass. Today, I'm sorry, your body is pissed at you. All right, some of you need to be getting some exercise and moving around. The next one up is detox. And this one says uh, drink a smoothie, unfriend that asshole, and throw some shit out. Okay, well, we're in spring, so spring cleaning. Next one up here for you is don't talk to anyone. Don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone, and you know why. All right, so this is your messages for this week. Again, it's just me interpreting the cards. Take what's going to work for you. Leave the rest alone. But I would appreciate you liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing to my channel. Um, throw those comments in there. Like I said, I'm trying to get to uh, this, this real nice Mother's Day package. Uh, some lucky winner is going to receive some beautiful gifts from me. So anyway, and that's, you know, my favor for you guys in supporting me and my channel. So um, have a safe, great week again. Happy Easter for those who celebrate it. Come back and get more of these beautiful messages here. <laughs> and uh, remember to come back smiling. All right. And then when it comes to those comments, I don't care. You know, uh, they could be negative. You know, I got I wear uh, hard armor here. So you're not going to hurt my feelings or anything like that. But I can retort. So be careful what you say. If you're going to say anything negative. All right, so uh, Scorpio, I'll talk to you next week. Bye.